let's say we roll two dice and we have these three events for us event a is getting an even number on the first die event b is getting an odd number on the first die and event c is getting a sum of less than six now i'm going to give you a few statements and you're going to tell me whether those statements are true or false so this is a true or false type of question here are the statements the first one is a and b are mutually exclusive then we have a and b are mutually exclusive and exhaustive then we have a is equal to b dash which is not b then we have a and b dash are mutually exclusive then we have a and c are mutually exclusive and the last one a dash b dash and c are mutually exclusive and exhaustive so pause the video this question will take a couple of minutes try doing this on your own this will test your knowledge on mutually exclusive and exhaustive events okay so let's do this together first things first two dice are thrown we'll bring out our sample space for the first die we have these six sample points 1 2 3 4 5 6 for the second die we have the same 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and when we roll them together this is what we get as a sample space so this is our die 1 if we have one on die two, we have these six sample points. For example, this one says we have five on the die one and one on the die two. If we have two on die two, we have six more and then three, four, five and six. So six times six, we'll get 36 sample points, all of them distinct because two and one is different from one and two because it matters which die you get two on and which die you get one on. So you get 36 sample points. This is our sample space. This is our playing field. Okay. Next thing, our events. The first event is getting an even number on the first die. How do we get that? So this is our sample space. This is our die one. How do we get an even number? Well, we have three even numbers, two, four, and six. So two, four, and six. So this means this entire row and this one and this one, they'll be part of event A. Whenever any of these happen, event A has happened. For example, 2 comma 5. This means the first die has 2, which is even, and it doesn't matter what second die has, because we're only concerned about the first die here. So this is our event A. Similarly, event B says getting an odd number on the first die. So 2, 4, and 6 were even, 1, 3, and 5 are odd, 1, 3, and 5, and this will be our event B. Let's write that down. Okay. Let's look at event C. Getting a sum of less than 6. So now we are concerned about both the dice. In fact, we are going to add the 2. So this is our sample space. How do we get a sum less than 6? Well, we need smaller numbers because 6 is a small number. And we have smaller numbers on the top left region. We have large numbers on the bottom right region. Look at this. 5 and 6, they add up to 11 and 1 and 2, they add up to only 3. So let's start with top left. Let's go row by row. Um, if we add 1 and 1, we get 2. Here we get 3. Here we get 4. 1 and 4 is 5. 1 and 5 is 6. Oh, we don't need 6 because we want the sum to be less than 6. So for the first row, we have these 4 sample points covered in our event C. Similarly, for the next row, we have 2 and 1, 3. 2 into 4, 2 and 3, 5, 2 and 4, 6. So we'll stop here. These three will go to event C. Then we have 3 and 1 and 3 and 2. And then we have 4 and 1. And that's it. You can look at it. No other sample point will give me a sum less than 6. So this will be our event C. Okay, so we've got our sample space. We've got our events A, B and C. And because in true and false, we had A dash, B dash and C dash. So let's look at their complements as well. Event A dash says not getting an even number on the first die. Event A says getting an even number. So this is our event A. A dash is the complement, which means we'll move out of the blue zone. We'll take everything that's not blue. So this, this, and this will be our event A dash. Similarly, for event B, this is our green zone. Event B dash will be everything outside the green zone. This, this, and this will be our event B. And for event C, this, 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 and this, they are all part of event C and we'll go outside the pink zone for not getting a sum of less than six, basically for C dash. 
So for this row, we'll take these two, and then these three, and then these four, and then these five, and then these six, and then six more. C dash is way bigger than C. So now we have got the complements as well. Now let's look at the statements. A and B, A and B, A and B dash, A and B dash, A and C, A dash, B dash, C dash. Let's take the first four because they're only concerned about A and B. Let's pick them first. So this is what we have for A and B. Now let's look at the statements. A and B are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means that there shouldn't be overlap. Is there any overlap? Are, are there some sample points which are both green and blue? Well, no. No point is both green and blue. They're either blue or green. There is no overlap. So yes, they are mutually exclusive. Next one, are they mutually exclusive and exhaustive? Well, we've covered the exclusive part. For exhaustive, they have to teamwork. Together, are they covering the entire sample space? Well, yes, they are covering the entire sample space. There isn't anything left. So yes, good teamwork. They're mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Let's look at the next one. A is equal to B dash. A is equal to the complement of B. Well, let's see. B is this green zone. Its complement will be everything outside the green zone. So that's your B dash. It's, it's exactly equal to A. That's a, it's a complete overlap. A and B dash are, are one and the same thing. So yes, they are equal. And the last one, A and B dash are mutually exclusive. For this, they have to have no overlap and we have a complete overlap. In fact, this couldn't be more false. This is not true. A and B dash are in fact equal. How can they be mutually exclusive? Okay, so we've covered the first four. We need to do two more. For that, we need event C. Let's bring event A and event C. And our next statement is A and C are mutually exclusive. Well, now we know. Mutually exclusive means we don't need overlap, but we, we can see overlap. These three points, two, one, two, 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 three, and this one, four, one. All four of them are part of the pink zone and the blue zone, which means they're, they're part of both events A and C. So there is some overlap. They're not mutually exclusive. Let's look at the last one. For that, we need all three. And the statement is A dash, B dash, and C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. So let's bring out the easiest one, C first. So C is this. Now let's bring our A dash. A dash is everything outside the blue zone, which means we're not going to get even numbers on the first die. We're going to get odd numbers on the first die. And we can see that this actually overlaps to event B. So A dash and B are one and the same thing. So we have A dash, we have C, now we need B dash. B dash is Getting an odd number on the first die is B, so not getting an odd number, which means getting an even number. So B dash is this. And we can see that B dash is actually equal to A, which we just saw a few seconds ago. Okay, so we have these three events down, A dash, B dash, and C. Let's check for overlaps. Let's check for exhaustiveness. In fact, let's first check for exhaustiveness. Are all of these three events doing a good teamwork? Are all of them combined covering the entire sample space? Well, yes, they are. There is no sample point left, which means they are exhaustive. But we are asked that they are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Let's check the exclusive part. Is there an overlap? Well, there is no overlap between green and blue, but this pink one is causing problems. Even C is overlapping with the blue one and the green one. So C is overlapping with both A dash and B dash, which means they're not mutually exclusive. So we're going to cross this one out. This statement is false. A dash, B dash, and C are not mutually exclusive. Well, they're exhaustive, but they're not mutually exclusive and exhaustive. So that's, that's pretty much it.